Hello, this is Compound Interest Stock Guy, and today I'm going to be talking about the companies in the cannabis space that grow the most kgs as of last quarter. So stay tuned. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe. Hit the bell down below. I appreciate it. I also want to disclose I'm not a financial advisor. This is just for entertainment information purposes. Do not buy or sell based on anything I talk about in this video. So uh, yeah, I'm just out in nature. Uh, I think I got my... Uh, iPhone set up so I can do these videos so <laughs> congrats to me <laughs> uh, yeah so okay so let's get into this so Cantrust they grew 9400 kgs last quarter and they sold around 3000 kgs as well as uh, uh, Hexo sold around uh, 2800 kgs but they grew around 9800 kgs and uh, Organigram they sold around 3,000, 3,700 kgs, I believe, somewhere around that range. Actually, maybe it was 4,000, but I think they, and then they uh, sold around 5,000 or 5,700 liters of cannabis, but who knows what, how much percentage of cannabis was in there, like how many milligrams and all that stuff, so it's kind of hard to gauge. My guess is they're somewhere around like 8,000 to 10,000 kgs uh, that they grew this quarter, so that's my, without, uh, you know, getting a, uh, from the horse's mouth, Greg Angle. I that's what I'm gonna say. And uh, yeah, so who else? Uh, um, well, uh, Aurora they grew ninety. No, they grew fifteen thousand five hundred kgs, and they uh, sold. See, so sold around like ten thousand kgs, and that's the same with uh, Canopy. They sold around ten thousand kgs, and they grew around. Uh, uh, 14,400 kgs so yeah or Aurora grew around like a thousand kgs more than them so that's pretty good for Aurora and uh, what else um, Xenobus grew grew like recently they grew around 3,000 well 900 kgs a month so they're getting close to around 3,000 kgs um, a quarter and then they'll get up to like around 5,000 kgs and 10,000 kgs and village farms uh, there they did around uh, t -t 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 I'm not sure how much they did but they sold 5,000 kg 5,000 5 million so pro like less than a thousand kgs or around a thousand kgs but they're ramping up I think so they're gonna be a big producer eventually like they're gonna get up to 10 15,000 kgs a quarter but they're not there yet and uh, t -t 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 yeah, so fire I think is probably growing around like three thousand, and they're selling around like thousand to fifteen hundred kgs a quarter. You know, probably like closer to two thousand, like twelve hundred to like seventeen hundred kgs. I'm thinking somewhere around that range because they're probably getting around like seven to eight dollars a gram when they're selling it to to Tilray in the rec market. So yeah, I mean if you do the math, um, basically on on a, uh, they sold 11 million uh, in sales. I think there's somewhere around uh, 11 million. 11 million divided by eight. Yeah, somewhere around like 14,000, uh, 1,400 kgs. Yeah, somewhere around there. Uh, without doing the exact math, that's what they're going to be around. Uh, but yeah, and then uh, that's pretty much it. But those are the companies like Cantrust is out of the race kind of right now. Like you don't know what that key, those uh, kilograms are going to do. So who knows. Uh, yeah, I mean, Xenobis can come up. Uh, some other companies can come up growing a lot more. I mean, I think Wayland's growing a lot right now, maybe like maybe like 2,500 kgs. But they're going to be sending it to uh, Europe but maybe they're not even doing 2,500 kgs. I don't know how many rooms they have licensed or all that stuff or like how much are growing a lot. Uh, but yeah, they're kind of under the radar. I think when they resume, they're gonna be okay. But I mean, yeah, I'm not a fan of Ben Ward, but yeah, I don't know why. I think they're gonna get up to like five to 10,000 kgs to, to, to 15,000 to 20,000 kgs sometime like in later 2020. Or early 2021 just depends how the licensing goes but they're gonna get a lot of money per gram when they're selling it to the uh, to Europe 
So they don't make that much money when they're selling in Canada, but when they're in Europe, they sell, they, they make a lot of money. I'm in the forest. <laughs> in the forest, babe. Forest, shaka, shaka. Yeah, so that's pretty much what's up. Uh, t -t 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 -t. That's that's all I can really think without uh, having a computer in my screen, and I'm just kind of just kind of walking away from mosquitoes because they're bad. But yeah, I mean that's pretty much what's up. Or and uh, yeah, I mean T God's probably gonna get up to to doing a bit more KGs eventually. And uh, t -t 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 -t. yeah, I mean those are the big Weed MD. I think they're gonna have their outdoor grow. But that's like next quarter. That will be outdoor grow, and Aurora's gonna have an outdoor grow now. And uh, yeah, I mean, everybody's gonna start to slowly get like more, like 25%, 50%, 100%, 200%, 300%, like 500% more kgs every quarter. Some of these companies, like especially like 48 North, like when they have their regular, when they're probably growing like a thousand kgs or less a quarter, and then they're moving up all the way to like 40,000 kgs or like I don't know even 15,000 you know that's a big up up scale so uh like a leaf has got their their outdoor grow starting and they're kind of slow to get it but maybe it has to do with licensing a bit to do with them as well I know 48 North was obsessed with getting their outdoor license so maybe the market just like let them get it before the other companies I don't know <laughs> I don't know, girl power. <laughs> I don't know. It's pretty much what I want to say. You know, outdoor grow is going to change the amount of kgs, but I'm just talking about this quarter, uh, what happened. And uh, yeah, it's pretty much what I want to say. Until next time, cut peace.